News 8 is your local election headquarters. The 2020 primary elections were different this year, largely because of the massive absentee voting push. That's, of course, because of the COVID-19 pandemic. It took over two weeks to get results, albeit unofficial. Christian Garzon spoke with some elected officials who say when it comes to mail-in voting, there's still work that needs to be done here. Christian joining us now in studio. Uh, Adam, correct. They acknowledged some hiccups along the way and work left to be done before November. But those we spoke with today say for the most part, absentee voting works. Obviously, we're, we're very happy that we were able to win this step and on to November. County Clerk Jamie Romeo came out on top over Jennifer Boutte in the Democratic primary race for that position. Due to COVID-19, many absentee ballots were cast, and it took almost two weeks to tally up the numbers. But Romeo says mail-in voting works. We saw a long-term opportunity with the absentee voting. I'm hopeful that the state will move, continue to move forward with making it a permanent no-fault option. Assemblyman Harry Bronson, who edged out Alex Udelson for the nomination to the 138th District, says we certainly learned lessons on that absentee voting going into November. We uh, need to correct a lot of things before we get into the general election. Bronson has criticized some of the basic mix-up with the Board of Elections, such as voter qualifications and getting the right candidates on the right ballots. But Bronson, like Romeo, feels this method still works and breaks down barriers to voting. Any way that we can make voting more accessible to everyone and uh, encourage them to participate in democracy, I think, is a win. Now, Jamie Romeo added, we actually saw an increased voter turnout in Monroe County due to mail-in ballots. Interesting tidbit there. Adam, back to you. All right, Christian, thank you. We do have a full list of winners, the numbers, the percentages, all in one story over at rochesterfirst.com.